With 1.4 around the corner, it is once again time to talk about the new units coming out. This time, 37, the little genius we'll encounter in the new story chapter of the update, makes her debut. Welcome to the 37 build video. Let's begin. Thirty-seven is a mental support DPS that uses Eureka, a special meter that empowers herself and her allies. Filling the Eureka bar is top priority. By doing so, Thirty-seven unleashes an extra mass attack, dealing damage to the enemy. Her specialty is buffing allies and dealing Genesis damage, a type of hit that ignores the enemy defenses. Let's start by checking out her kit. Triangulation is a one target attack that deals 140, 210, 350 percent mental, followed by an additional 40, 60, 100 percent genesis damage, depending on the card's level. This attack also increases her Eureka by one. Her second incantation, Curve Mapping, is a mass attack that hits two enemies, causing 70, 105, 175 percent mental damage followed by an additional 40, 60, 100% genesis damage and gives her one stack of sturdiness. Lastly, her ultimate, Kingdom of Geometry, buffs all allies and gives them two stacks of numerical perception, increasing the damage dealt by 10%. It also gives her two points of Eureka and two stacks of Enlightenment, which increases the damage of the next incantation's genesis damage by 100%. As you can see, her kit revolves around Eureka and genesis damage, your top priority is to try and fill the Eureka bar as fast as possible to unleash the extra attack. This task is made easier by her insight that introduces new useful mechanics. Insight 1 really skyrockets 37 power. With it, she can generate Eureka from all of her incantations and gain extra stacks from other allies' follow-up attacks. Once the Eureka meter is filled, all stacks will be consumed to cast Supplementary Formula, a mental and genesis damage mass attack. This attack has no restrictions, so it can be triggered as often as possible as long as you fill the meter. While the other insight levels don't give more Eureka gain, they still enhance her power. Insight 2 increases the critical damage by 15% upon entering battle, and Insight 3 increases her critical rate by 20%. On top of that, it also makes all of her Genesis damage able to crit. While not mandatory, picking up 37 portraits can help her a lot in dealing more damage and generating Eureka stacks faster. Let's see which one helps her the most. P1 and P2 increases critical rate and supplementary formulas damage. P3 helps with Eureka gain by changing the number of stacks gained by the ultimate to 3 and adding one extra layer to the enlightenment buff. P4 is another power increase, but P5 is where 37's Eureka gain reaches its maximum efficiency. The stacks gained from ultimate are now 4 and the number of layers of numerical perception increases to 3. Now that we know what is 37 capable of, let's talk about how to build her. First of all, the side tube. When it comes to choosing a side tube, the objective is to find the perfect match of stats and amplification effect, while keeping in mind how good it is going to fit with her kit. There are many options to choose from, such as Silent and Adoring, Yearning Desire, Thunderous Applause, Is Bound in Duty, but the future 1.5 side tube, Long Night Talk, is technically the best choice. Even without amplification, it's the most powerful choice available. If you're interested in checking out the calculation, you can go and check the links down below. But another important part of any character's build is the resonance. Thirty-seven's resonance build is pretty much set in stone since it's clear that she benefits from criticals. Here's two potential resonance options that you can use. Now that we have our 37 built, all that is left to do is find her a good team. Although she can technically fit anywhere, the fact that she benefits so much from follow-up attacks makes her less flexible if you want to optimize her performance. The right team can really make 37's performance skyrocket, depending on the unit present. 
The best teammates for her are those who have follow-up attacks, such as Lilia and New Babel. But there is another, more powerful unit coming in 1.6, which is indubitably the best partner for 37, Chun Ying Tzu. Chu's kit is filled with follow-up attacks, making 37 gain her stacks extremely fast. With Chu in the party, 37 damage increases so much that it becomes a full-fledged secondary DPS, while also retaining efficiency, considering that her supplementary formula is an extra attack and it doesn't consume any action points. When it comes to other roles, the best choice would be 6 with his multitude of buffs and Tooth Fairy, which increases the critical rate and damage thanks to her Baby Tooth passive. Here are some team examples for 37. Feel free to replace some of those units with whoever you want, as long as you cater to 37's kit. This concludes the build guide. If you have any more questions, feel free to come to my stream at twitch.tv forward slash jagazin or leave a comment below. If you want to know more about Chu, this video explains the whole situation. Thank you for watching and see you next time.